Yo, it's your boy PK. Hey, yo, ladies, it's another one of y'all corny cousins out here acting a fool, and I'm glad y'all got on it. Look, it's a single mother that's tripping because her, her baby daddy comes to drop off McDonald's for his son every day. Only problem is she got three other kids that she want him to bring food for as well, and she tripping out about it. I'm gonna play play the video. Day, my baby daddy come here with one meal for my child, but I have other kids we have one kid together but he only want to come and bring one thing to mcdonald's but what about my other kids how come you can't feed my other kids from mcdonald's though like that's bogus as hell like you're not gonna sit here and make my other kids feel left out and you're only bringing one child something to eat look there he go and i bet you he only got one thing in there i bet you he don't even look how she just sitting here taking time to get hyped up before he even get there you know what I'm saying? Getting hyped up over something like this. And listen, instead of hyping yourself up to get your own money to go get your other kids some McDonald's, you hyping yourself up to attack this man for not providing for your other three kids some food. I'm finna expose the out of him so people can see how he really is. It ain't more than it ain't more than enough food in that bag for everybody. What's up? Because I'm finna expose you. What? Because that don't look that don't look enough for all my kids. <laughs> that don't look enough for all my kids. What is that? That's just one burger, one burger, burger one fry. What he like? What do you mean? Okay, what about my other kids? This is just a short clip. She, it's an extended clip with her. She take the pop and the burger, throw it all on the ground, and it, it's just a whole thing where it's just like, well, I, listen, I'm not obligated to take care of your other three kids. Talking about her food stamps don't come on to the 11th and all that. That's not my problem, baby. If we was a happy family or something, we, we'll have something to talk about. If he was stepdaddy into this whole thing, but that's not the case. This is one baby daddy. Look, and I'm a nice guy. I, you know, I probably would have did it about three, four days. You know what I'm saying? Maybe a week. You know, you like, you know what I'm when I'm bringing Junior, Junior home, they go, okay, I'll I get the kids something to eat too. You know what I'm saying? Work that dollar menu or something. But look, I, it, it, that look hard to do though. Did you see that pop? Junior had a, a 64 ounce. Look, so them kids over there ain't eating Happy Meal. You spending $8 a combo for them, plus Big Bertha, uh, Baby D, looking like going to want one too. You know what I'm saying? So look, you look, you're looking at a hot 40 ball, hot 30 or 40 ball every day. On somebody else's kid, man, that add up, dog. Ain't, ain't nobody that add up. And the question is, where are the other baby daddies? For one, be happy coming to, coming by every day, dropping his son off something to eat. I mean, he, he in the vicinity. He try, that's something to start with as a father. I'm not gonna try to give him a gold medal for that. I don't know, know how much time he spent with the kid or not, but every day he bringing his son McDonald's. For one, I want to just jump in here and say, stop that, dog. Every day we doing McDonald's for the kids. That's why our kids be three, four hundred pounds. Okay, cut it out. She sound like a big bitter chick back behind that camera back there. You know what I'm saying? Breathing all on the glass. <sighs> <sighs> Baby D, if you don't go sit down somewhere and quit playing. Well, look, <laughs> I'm glad the black women jumped on her in the comments and, and, and got that. I'm gonna put up some of the comments. I'm and what a reason I'm, I'm glad y'all got on him because like y'all know the pain it is. Y'all. You, you you got kids and you 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 want to eat you a meal, but you come in the house and they all in your with this. Can I get some nuggets? You, oh, you ain't buy me no fries. I ain't mean to buy you no fries. This is mine, okay? I bought y'all lunchables. Don't eat your lunchables. You're, you're like, listen, I done had roommates before, and it'd be like sometimes you would just sit in the car. And eat your food. And I know I, I vibed with parents. I ain't no parent, but I didn't vibe with parents about this where they just sit in their car and just keep their sanity and eat their own meal because I'm not buying everything for the whole house, okay? Y'all eat too much. There's too many of y'all in here. Every time I walk in the door, I'm not buying uh, combo meals for everybody, okay? I'm going to just sit in my car and be a fat boy and eat by myself. I'm going to buy two combos and, and enjoy myself in my car. Okay? Thank you very much. But I'm just saying, I feel my man. I'm not obligated to that. Every time I come to bring my son something to eat, I need to buy your other three kids plus your big baby D self. Because I know you're going to add yourself to the list. Well, you got my other kids something, bring me a, a Big Mac too. No, baby D. You should have stretched them food stamps out to the 11th, okay? Get the stretching.
I buying Captain J's every two days, okay? Go to the grocery store, get the chicken, and cook it. I'm just saying it's not, it's not something that's required. And this, this is what I be saying about some of y'all women be so bitter and so angry and trying to pick apart everything that the dad does do that you will push much needed resources, much needed father figures, much needed. It ain't, it ain't just the baby daddies too. It's other people that be in your child's life that's trying to do right by them. You know what I'm saying? It could be aunties, uncles, family members. But if you ain't doing stuff as particular and as specific as the baby mama's uh, overbearing ego would have you do, then she will keep nagging and nitpicking and going to the extent of, oh, you ain't buying it. You know what I'm saying? Threw my man food all in the all in the lawn and this, that, and that. Like, that's what we doing? Okay. You will force people to be like, okay, raise them by yourself then. And I'm not saying that's right. I'm not saying that's right by no means, but I'm just saying you will force some people to do it. Some people ain't got, you know, <laughs> the forgiveness of Jesus in them. Some people ain't going to keep turning the other cheek. Some people you got one time or a couple of times to really wrong them. And then it's like, well, I'm good on you. Like it ain't, I, I don't have to be around it. I, I don't have to not forgive you. I can forgive you, but I ain't got to be around you to keep getting repetitive, bad treatment from you. You know what I'm saying? Like some, some, it's just not worth my sanity to have to force myself to stick around and dig to deal with you because you want to keep testing me. You know what I'm saying? And listen, shout out to, to Honorable Lewis, Minister Lewis Farrakhan. He said one time in a breakfast interview, a woman is going to test you because she need to know that you are, it's her nature. She need to know that you able to protect her, able to rise up against anybody who come after you and your family or your babies and this, that, and another woman going to test you to make you kind of buck up and, and, and get back at her. You know what I'm saying? And I've experienced this of a woman like just testing you over the stupidest stuff. But it's like, you know, I get that. And trust me, I'm one to rise to the challenge of a test. I, I, I don't back down easily. I don't, I don't quiet down easily when I feel the way I feel about what I stand on, my morals and a lot of things that I, I'm about. If if I feel it's something I stand on, I'm not, I'm not backing down on it. And that's for anybody testing me and my position on it or whatever. You know what I'm saying? If it's how I feel, it's how I feel. But I agree with him on that. If she going to test you, you got to let her know, hey, I'm here and I'm running this. You know what I'm saying? Because she really like it. Like the, the 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 funny part is, like the the most recent time chick tested me, she just you know what I'm saying. As soon as I put some bass in my voice and got loud, she just was skinning and grinning. It was just like you just wanted me to get loud, didn't you? Like I was trying to be diplomatic for once in my life. You wanted me to just yeah, what you you know what I'm saying? It's like that's cool, but I don't want to do that all the time. I want to do it all the time, and. That's where that message kind of, I veer off from it a little bit. I agree with what the minister was saying, but at the same time, I, I kind of, I'm like, don't nobody want this level of toxic in their life every day to come deal with your son and try to raise your son. But we got to realize these are decisions we made as men and as women too, because she said, she did say something in the extended video. She like, you knew this was what this was when you got with me. That I had three kids by however many different baby daddies. And that's the truth. We got to start taking responsibility for knowing what we picking, man. Women, y'all got to take responsibility for the type of dude y'all picking. Men, we got to do the same. We know that We know that chick. We, we, we know she is what she is when we keep seeing these little flickers of it. But we be like, you know, that box good and she got that good head on it, uh, you know. I'm going to have to fight through it because that dome is good. <clears throat> we know the risk we running when we take on these type of women. And we do it anyway. And then we mad. And then some of us extra mad now that Roe v. Wade is happening. You know what I'm saying? Because now you can't get it to go around the corner and get that boy snatched out of there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So 
it's going to be a lot of consequences that you have to deal with. But, but fellas, we've been dealing with that anyway because we never had the power in those instances. You never had the power to tell a woman have that procedure done or to not. Once you make the bad decision of laying with that woman, you're stuck with the consequences of whatever she choose to do. And realize that and think about it before you keep making the mistakes that you keep making. And I'm not just pointing at you. This camera is looking at me in my eye too. I'm pointing at me. I'm trying to do the best I can about the decisions I'm making every day to make my life better. And we got to be real, man. We can't keep choosing these type of women and thinking we're going to get a Beyonce type of result or a, a first lady type of result. You know what I'm saying? It's not, you're not going to choose this type of woman and get Michelle Obama type of results out of it. We have to start making better choices and putting ourselves in position. First, we have to do better. Get your money, get your paper up, do better. I'm proud of you for being a father, bro. But we got to do better and try to make better choices of women. Because otherwise, we're going to be dealing with this. You get with a chick that's three, four kids in and all of that and doing all of that and clapping at you and all that. You know, you know that's going to be, you going to be on the end, tail end of that. As soon as you put a baby in her. So we, we got to stop acting like we don't know that. But... <sighs> All in all, black women, I'm glad y'all got down on this chick and, and, and let her know how y'all feel. Because usually y'all be fighting us on this. Y'all be trying to be uh, just side with y'all kind just because. But I'm glad y'all stood up on this one, though. But it's your boy, P. Camp. Tell me what you think. Put something in the comments for your boy.